MusicLessonsRiverside.com, and this is my next installment of licks that everybody wants to learn. And uh, I've already joked about this a few times, but this is one of the licks that everybody wanted to learn when they were a kid. When I was a kid, everybody wanted to learn this. They're like, "I gotta learn Crazy Train. I gotta learn Crazy Train." Well, no one makes it through the whole song because it's a uh, really difficult. Uh, uh, people do. Don't get me wrong, um, but I never took the time to sit there and learn the entire song and the solos and all the crazy stuff. Um, maybe a little bit of that, right, that kind of thing, uh, but the song does get crazy, and it has a lot of, you know, tapping and all that kind of fun stuff, but this is the essential lick that's a lot of fun to play, and it's a great shape to learn, because it's going to get you playing other things and making your own music, too. All right, so these are the notes that are involved. I've got first, first finger on the second fret of the low E string, and I've got third finger on the fourth fret of the low E string, pinky on the fifth fret of the low E string, same thing on the next string, same pattern. I got those are the notes that are involved. I got on the uh, the fifth string. I've got second fret. 4th fret, 5th fret, okay? Think of that as a little scale. It is actually the beginning of an Aeolian scale or a natural minor scale in the key of F sharp minor. So I got 2, 4, 5 on the low E string, 2, 4, 5 on the A string, okay? But it's kind of centered around this F sharp power chord thing. And then it uses those notes around it, okay? So I'm doing... Then I go to that power chord note right above it. Two, two on the bottom string. Four on the A string. Right, so I got that pattern, the first part. And then I'm going to pinky on that fifth fret of the A string. Just bouncing that. Right, real slow. And then the second half of it is I start on B, my second fret of the A string. And then I go to pinky on the fifth fret of the E string. Four, five, two, five, four, five. Right, so then I go B, A, G sharp, A. Then coming back to the F sharp, I believe he does an open E string. helpful if you have any questions let me know um, it's just a matter of getting used to that pattern and there's all kinds of fun stuff you can do with that pattern you can make up your own cool riffs with it um, and that's part of the fun of music, is making up your own music eventually. All right, I'm Brian with MusicLessonsRiverside.com. If you need anything, MusicLessonsRiverside at gmail.com. Uh, hopefully this is helpful and uh, get you playing some Crazy Train.
Thank you.